All right, everybody. So imagine a sneaker brand actually listening to you. I mean, really taking into consideration our thoughts, good, bad, to make the shoe even better. Now, a lot of brands we get out there, they don't really hear it seems like. We get the same thing over and over again with little to no changes. But the brand series player only has taken that and flipped it on his head. They'll listen to our thoughts. They want to make sure we have the best shoe possible. So today we're checking out the series player only, Player One Plus. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast, and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you hadn't done so already, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos like this drop. Now, I'm super, super, super excited about this video because I didn't expect this shoe to pop up on my doorstep, and when I got it in hand, I had to put them on feet immediately. And again, we're looking at the latest sneaker from Sears Player Only, the Player One Plus. So shout out to the team out there for sending this pair over. I really do appreciate you guys. And not only am I excited to be able to try it out, but it's early. It's a shoe that's going to be coming out this month september you guys should be seeing it september 1st if all edits go well but this shoe will be dropping in in september for you guys to actually get from them and utilize right now they're still using the player one which is still an amazing shoe but they took that shoe and took it to the next level which we're going to get into in just a minute but if you guys do want to take a look at this one this is a very great performer i'll put a link up top so you guys can check out my review there now i'll leave that one right here because we're going to really talk back and forth about these two sneakers now what series player only did is that again they took the comments they took all the criticism criticism and made their shoe even better because they want to give you the best performing basketball shoe and i loved it about the brand because most people say well we made it we'll just whatever we sold enough we don't have to change anything people like it they want to keep you coming back more and more because they want to really grow with their consumer to be getting the best basketball product on the court now what i like about them is that they will post reviews on their shoe good bad or indifferent so whether it's the wear tester videos or the sole drop videos they will put the whole video out there and really listen to what those guys are saying and say okay this this and this we can make it better they like this let's leave it this way or the players they promote on their website the players that they show wearing their shoes they really take into consideration consideration what they're doing and i that is such a thing i want to applaud because again most brands are doing that they're making their money like well they're gonna buy it anyway why make the changes and the changes that are being made here aren't these little nitpicky changes that being nothing are just aesthetic pieces there's some big changes here that cost some big money when it comes to building a sneaker now let's get right into it i know we're looking at the player one plus i'm going to use this as reference to player one as well so you can kind of see and there will be b-roll of up close shots so you know exactly what we're talking about there's going to be you know b-roll of me playing in the shoe because i had to test it out as well because i couldn't just give you this out the box and and no no on court experience right so First things first, you're going to notice that this shoe is a little bit more low profile, seems like. I'm looking at both of them. Now, after looking at the shoe, really the majority of the sneakers made up the same. But there are some, again, some big key changes that we're going to notice. So first things first that we're going to look at the same. They're both going to be using that never knit translucent mesh. But as you look at the top, the structure is a little bit different. You see, they have actually tightened up the Player One Plus, give you a more concise build. Like, and this one's built very well. So don't, I don't ever want you to think that this one's not. This is a great shoe. Like if you still want this one, try it out. It's still available. But if you want to take it to the next level, the Player One Plus is going to be for you. Again, this will be released in September. But they're still using that, again, that translucent mesh that has kind of that fly wire type build to give you that really light, but still secure feel. Now, one of the big things I noticed is that the eyelids. So we have a whole different setup when it comes to the eyelids now that is going to be a little bit better again they were really smart by using a fuse to keep it light to make sure all their laces weren't ripping through but still gives you that again that strength that lightness everything all in one package but to keep that the same but again take it to the next level they went with a light tpu around the eyelids here it gives you a thicker feel and a more structure so that way it is so much more what's the word i'm looking for protected so the laces aren't going to have a chance to rip through i mean it would take a lot like even with the fuse it would take a lot for them to rip through but they want to make sure we don't have that happen so even with the raised fuse they had here they took it to the next level with a tpu plastic around to make sure again those laces are tight in there now speaking of the laces they went from a flat lace which is you know they have flat laces on athletic shoes not a problem these laces didn't do anything wrong but they want to make it even better i know a lot of people like the oval kind of rope style laces on their basketball sneakers they did that here so they changed up the laces a little bit give you that more athletic lace as opposed to the flat lace now the tongue is going to be relatively the same i didn't see much difference there it's still going to be that mesh tongue that's going to have 
have that synthetic piece on top where it has the serious player only branding so not much different there the tongue was awesome didn't have any problems so again they didn't fix things that didn't need to be fixed they tweaked things that people were saying hey this could be a little bit better here and i really do like those you know little changes now also something you're going to notice different is the shape of the toe box so this again very minor but you can see the shape is a tad bit different here so that way again you're getting almost a more secure fit because look you're getting your laces your bottom eyelets closer to the tongue or i'm sorry closer to the toe as opposed to this one where it's further up so you're locking down even more of your foot with the laces which i really like that now as we get into the side of the sneaker one of the big things i noticed which is very like this is more of an aesthetic piece but it shows that they're paying attention making sure they really tighten up the lines in their shoe when they come to the construction again built very well but there's always room for improvement somewhere right so if you look at this sneaker the player one you see right under the tpu heel cup there's still some uh we're getting some fabric we're getting some some stitching going beyond that so what they did this time again very simple very things just again tightened up getting that look even better they made sure there's no stitching going past the heel cup giving you a more concise look you're not getting that overlap now again you're still going to get that tpu heel clip here to make sure you're locked in and with this particular colorway, this is going to be the tulip colorway, by the way. This is going to be a multicolored floral type colorway you're going to be getting here in September. But this one's going to be done up in a clear pink while this one was done up in that black. You're still going to have the synthetic materials that are going to be done on the quarter panels here. This one's done up in yellow with the red branding. And of course, you're going to have the synthetic leather on the heel. Still great materials. I think there's great materials, even though it's synthetic, it's not that really hard vinyl. They keep it really nice, keep it soft to the touch. So that way it does feel good and look good for those people who want to, you know, look good on the court. Now with this particular one, I know there's they kind of differ with the colorways sometimes but this one the the sock line is going to be kind of almost like a terry cloth and this is going to have the multicolored floral print here that you're going to see but of course with serious player only the big thing with them is the being able to change the shoe make it different make it longer lasting with their drop and midsole setup now i love this because when i opened the box it wasn't just oh here's your shoe open the box they still they had two of the other insoles ready to go sitting on top so i was given a shoe with two different setups so basically i was given a box of shoes that was actually two different shoes now, the two of the setups they provided were going to be the strength setup, which is going to be the Evalon, a little bit more dense, a little bit more cushion that gives you the popcorn, which is almost like boost on both the forefoot and the heel, along with the gum, which is going to give you a little bit more springiness, a little bit more cushion and some key points in the, again, the forefoot and the heel. Now, with that, we're going to also get the quick setup, which is going to be Evalon light, which is less dense, less cushion, but still a very nice material. I played in both of these and had zero problem with either. This one, you get a little bit more court feel, but your foot's not hurting. You're not sacrificing comfort for speed. But again, if you're more of a, you know, high impact player, jumping a lot, I mean, just heavier maybe as well, this is going to be, this is going to work awesome. I felt good in both. And of course, you're still going to have the adapt equipment that can go in there, which is going to be that thin layer of the boost material that can go in underneath. So you get a little bit extra cushioning, a little bit more in the shoes. There's so much that can happen here to just give you all these different ways to, to wear the shoe. And I noticed something different here. So this is even a lifted arch here. So with this particular the strength setup, you don't have it on a quick. You're going to have a more of a lifted arch. So that way, if you need a little bit more arch support, you got it here as well. So they're thinking of everything just to make it, again, a little bit better. Now, something else, this is just me being uh, nitpicky to another brand out there. Of course, you guys know the player one is going to be Kobe inspired. You can see remnants of the Kobe 8. And of course, you know, of course, especially with the drop in midsole system and the Kobe 11. I'm just going to put a message out there to a particular brand that uses a swoosh for their branding. Guys, if you can't get it right, I'll let you know this, this company is, if you need help, call Serious Player Only because they've seen the be able to understand how to produce the shoe where people can get it and it's still performing well. Uh, you guys are having a problem with that because you can't even get enough on the website for people to get. So that's me throwing my shot at you guys because I'm I'm really rocking with Serious Player Only. They're doing some great things and they're, they're giving it, they're, I can get them in hand. They look good. I can get them in hand. They perform well. So I don't know what's wrong with some of these other brands brands out there you know cough cough you know who you are that can't even get it right for people to get their hands on who actually want to play in them but that's neither here and there because i'm here to sing the praises of this brand and not really talk down someone else right now but you guys know what's going on now of course the shoe is still going to have the fuse for the high wear areas just like we saw on both so not, nothing changes there again it worked well let's keep doing it but something they did change that is huge because changing this piece of a shoe cost a lot of money and that's going to be the tooling there is basically a whole new sole kit on this shoe there you look at it there's similarities but you can see some huge differences in here so first off we'll take a look back at the player one now it's going to be a thinner outsole thinner thinner rubber here we have visibility to the carbon shank now let's put this into the side for a second because what happens is that they took that and realized people are saying you know what it may not play well for a long time because the lack of rubber and outsole they made the midsole more low profile 
while providing more aggressive traction and more rubber to the outsole, which gives you a longer lasting play, more bite on the court. That traction pattern actually worked very well, but it was a closer, closer pattern where things could get stuck in it, like dust gets stuck in it. So they spread it out a little bit more, give you more traction, uh, more of an aggressive traction pattern that bites even better. Like I'm telling you guys, this when it got on court, I had no problem with slippage whatsoever. They also closed up that little window to shoot a shank plate to give you even more traction right in the middle at the midfoot area. You still do have the carbon plate. It's just going to be enclosed underneath the rubber. And you'll see, I get a close up. The rubber is actually thicker, like I mentioned, on the Player One Plus to give you longer lasting use of the sneaker, which is awesome. You guys listen, made it better. That's all people want. So we can appreciate that. And we thank you guys for doing that. Now, another thing we're going to notice is going to be on the midsole, on the lateral side. So a lot of the time, you know, these sneakers, when they have those, you know, drop in midsoles, they can be a little flimsy, of course. Like you see, this is very flimsy. Now, there is no problem with these at all, but probably someone heavier than me can have the possibility of maybe rolling over the top of the, you know, the outsole. It's a possibility. I've seen people do it. You've seen people break through shoes, pros, uh, amateurs, whatever it may be they took it a step further with their midsole so they gave you this thicker rubber i think it actually may be i think it actually may be a tpu around the side as well but they give you some more containment right around the side give you some more lateral containment so they're just thinking the things to make their shoe better and better so i guess it almost reminds me of them going like the regular version and then the elite but they just went through and changed so many things where it's a whole new shoe it's just almost like the they call it the player one plus but they almost could call it just the next look like the player two almost i'm sure they probably have that name for something else but i'm saying that because they took so many things to make it better you get a whole new shoe that say that it really gives you that same awesome aesthetic that the original had so this shoe's awesome and with the tooling change by the way the shoes actually ran small so i don't wear 10 and a half but i have to put a 10 and a half on in their original model but they when i opened the box i saw the size 10 I'm like oh man i won't be able to play in them because they're too small they fix it to where they're true to size now so you don't go to have to go to half size up so that's awesome they, they literally have a more precise fitting system now they changed so much to make it better and i'm just happy to be able to talk about it because I get excited about hitting the microphone. I get excited about when people are actually listening to us as consumers to make their product better. Now, who knows what they come out with next? If there's a player one plus two or, you know, the next models, they actually have different models they're coming out with as well. So don't think it's just this Kobe inspired model they're gonna have all the time. They have different models as well for different types of players. They have down the pipeline. They've been really previewing on their social media if you, if you paid attention. So, you know what? This, I have to say, I played in a couple things this year. To me, so far for what I played in, the player one plus is the best basketball shoe i'll put on court hands down there have been some great shoes out there but this one really did it for me it checked all the boxes and i have to say that i'm impressed with what they're doing so stay tuned again september they have been advertising the release for their first two colorways of the player one plus which includes this tulip colorway and this kind of black and white colorway almost uh almost a, a blackout with some different you know white hits on it check them out guys i'll leave a link down below where you can get these of course i'll leave a link to our social media as well so you can see all our advertisement there but i've been really impressed let me know what you guys think of the player one plus have you seen it already do you like the pictures uh let me know what you think about the player one let me know what you guys think about the brand because they're doing great things they love to hear your feedback so if you played in any of their sneakers give them feedback they're really willing to hear so they can make the next product better so until next time guys see ya